Hi all, this is just a quick look at a new scope I've just picked up, the Celestron Explorer Scope 114AZ. Um, the reason I got this was that I've got a number of telescopes, all pretty flash go-tos, uh, they're between 8 and 10 inches and 90 millimeters. but as I just said, they're all go-tos. So what I really wanted to get was a quick scope that I could literally pick up and go um, out into the backyard with no setup, no alignment, and bring astronomy back to the basics. Um, so far, I'm really, really happy with this scope. Um, the only thing I found with it is that, funny enough, it's a it's pretty cheap, under 300 bucks, and the eyepieces that come with it are truly the definition of trash. So, basically, I think the build was put into the scope, not the eyepieces, because once you unbox, you might as well just throw them out. Um, the red dot finder on it is surprisingly really, really good. And out of the box, the collimation is actually quite good too. As you can see, I've got a, a Mead 40mm um, multi-coated eyepiece on this, but I actually do use a 13mm Teleview Nagler, which brings it up to amazing definition um, and really, really good views of the sky to the point even with Orion's Nebula, which is going uh, into the east at the moment. Um, you can see the trapezium in the nebula with three defined stars, so it's actually quite good. And as you can see, uh, just at the back here, I do have very good views of the sky. So I really do like this just to pick up and go with no alignment, and actually it pretty much stays outside all the time. What is good too is that you've got this little arm, which you can just... Whoop, align move up and down and move it in a complete 360 all the way to zenith as well around and then simply lock it off again um, so with the movement it's it's free it frees you up um, when you align the red dot red you know the red dot finder with actually a, um, a crosshead reticle amazingly accurate so you can just put it on any object in the sky and when it's on the dot, you just look in the eyepiece and it's there straight away. Um, so yeah, it came, um, it's a rugged build. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. Uh, it's actually probably turned into one of my most used telescopes only because it's, as you know, if you're into um, amateur astronomy, um, setting up can be a bit of a drama. And when it comes down to it, it's like can be bothered factor a lot of the time. If you know if you've got to work the next day or you're just about to go on night shift, can you really be bothered? Uh, with this little bad boy, um, you just pop it on the ground and off you go. And actually for a beginner scope, um, I really would recommend it. It's it is fantastic. The actual tripod with it too is surprisingly sturdy. It is aluminium, folds up very well, and actually is big enough to fold up. Um, and pop into a backpack. Um, these knobs here simply undo and there you go, you can take it apart and travel with it. So it's actually not a bad little travel scope either. Anyway, um, this one has uh, has got a bit of use. Just give you a few views of around. Also had a handy little eyepiece holder too, um, which I do use. Um, I haven't got a sun filter for it yet. And funny enough, I put some um, my ZW Astro camera on it and for a little push too, it's actually really, really good to see some views of the moon as well. Very detailed um, views of the craters. Obviously nothing compared to an 8 or 10 inch scope, um, but for something that you just get out and use, um, really, really happy with it.